Hey everybody, it's Ellie with Ellie's Mini Schnauzers here. I feel like I'm about two years late on getting this video put together. I had promised some of my puppy families a while back that I would do um, a video on how to house train or crate train or potty train your puppy, just as some of the best tips to help make your job a little bit easier. So I hope your puppies are house trained by now. I'm sure they are. Um, but for future puppy families going forward, I hope this will be helpful information for you. Um, if you're thinking about getting your very first puppy ever, don't be intimidated by the house training part of it. It really isn't that hard. Um, I think the biggest part is really just making sure that you're consistent and your puppy will learn fairly quickly. Just be consistent. So, um, I do have puppies in the house right now. You might hear them throughout the video a little bit, playing in the background, uh, chewing on their puppy dishes and stuff like that. And I have a little helper here who uh, will hang out while we do the video. Say hi, hello. Yes. <laughs> and this little one definitely is not house trained yet. Um, okay, so first and foremost, like I said, consistency is key. Um, making sure that you're consistently doing the same things to help your puppy learn that they're not supposed to be making messes in the house or in their crate. Um, so we'll start off, I guess, by the rule of thumb. So you take the number of months old that your puppy is. So for example, my puppies come home at roughly eight weeks old. So they're two months old. And then you add one more to that, so that's a total of three. Um, so your puppy reasonably can hold it for about three hours. Anything more than three hours, you might end up with an accident. They can definitely hold it for longer. I've had um, puppy families tell me that their little ones didn't have a mess the entire first night. They slept all the way through the night. So they can hold it longer, like I said, but just to kind of like give you that rule of thumb, anything more than three hours, you might be asking a lot of these tiny little ones who are still learning bladder control. Um, bedtime feedings. So you wanna make sure that your puppy has eaten at least an hour, if not more before bed, and then take away their food and water. Because if they're eating and they're going to bed on a full tummy, they just drink a bunch of water, of course you're setting yourself up for having an accident. So if you have fed and watered them at least an hour before they go to bed, you make sure that they get a chance to go out right before bed, you're going to have a lot better chances of success with your puppy not making messes through the night aren't they? Huh? Hi, little one. Uh, crate size is another important thing because if you give your puppy too large of a crate, they'll make their bed on one end and then on the other end, they figure, well, I can do my business over there. So you need to make sure that their, their crate is only just big enough for basically a bed area and you should have better success that way as well. Also, first thing in the morning, you want to pick your puppy up directly from their crate. I find that if I allow my puppy to try to follow me to the door, as soon as they get out of their crate, they're like, oh man, I held it all night, and they will pee directly in front of their crate. So literally pick your puppy up out of the crate, carry them either to their pee pad or to wherever you'd like them to go outside, and then set them down in that spot consistently go to the same spot each time so that they learn where they're supposed to be doing their business. That will help them to learn that they can't just pee directly outside their kennel. Oh yes, the no playing part. The no playing part is really, really, really important because you wanna make sure that potty time and play time are completely separate. Otherwise, you will end up at three in the morning outside in your house coat saying, hurry up, do your business, it's cold out here. And all puppy wants to do is play. So when, they, when you take your puppy out, make sure that they do their business and then immediately pick them up and bring them back inside. Do not mix playing and potty time. You will thank me later, trust me on this. <laughs> I have done my fair share of times with the uh, middle of the night in my house coat outside trying to patiently wait for a puppy to do their business. So I'm right there with you. Sometimes my puppy families worry, well, we've got, you know, another dog. Do we wait for my dog to pass away before we get a puppy? Are they going to be jealous? Honestly, if you have another dog, they will help so much 
with training your puppy. Your puppy will learn from them and it makes your job a lot easier. So do not be worried at all. If you already have a dog, you're thinking about getting a puppy, it will work well in most situations. When you're feeding your puppies, they will almost immediately need to poop. So once they're done eating, keep a close eye on them, especially when they're eight weeks old, they're coming home, uh, you know, and they're still pretty young, getting the foundation training. So watch them while they're eating. And then as soon as they finish eating, they start kind of like sniffing around. Maybe they're um, seeming a little bit agitated or uh, kind of circling around on the floor, pick them up, take them outside because they almost always will poop immediately after eating. Um, so some signs that your puppy might need to go out, they'll perhaps start whining in their crate or barking. Those are very good signs that they need to go. They're trying to keep their crate clean. Um, so get out of bed if you need to. It's far nicer to make a trip outside with your puppy than have a mess to clean up and then undo all of that foundation work that you've already been working so hard on. Um, they might also be getting restless and you know snipping around. If your puppy has been playing and they're in the house and you suddenly are like, hmm, it's got really quiet, you might wanna go and check and see if they're finding a little corner where they can do their business. That quiet can be very suspicious with little guys like this. Um, yeah, so just kind of keep an eye if they're circling around on the floor, that is definitely a sign that they're about ready to take a dump. So take your puppy outside, let them do it there. I know some people like to train their dog to either ring a bell or one of the electronic bells. Um, I personally haven't ever done that with my dogs, but I think the same concept applies. It's just that consistency before you take them out, you teach them that they need to ring the bell, take them out, they get to do their business. So that is an option too. My dogs typically will start barking to let me know that they wanna go out, but that doesn't work so well if you live in a small apartment building or a duplex where you don't want your dog to be barking and disturbing neighbors. So that's where a bell could be a really good option for you. Mm -hmm. What else? Pee pads. Oh yeah. If you are intending to have your dog go on a pee pad long term, I would recommend looking into potentially having like one of the reusable uh, pee pads because you can just throw them in the wash. You're not having to deal with as much garbage um, and you can get them in different sizes. So that's an option too. So a few things to keep your eyes out for when they're doing their business, just watch, see if they're constipated, if they're having diarrhea, if they have blood in their stool, if they have worms, any of the warning signs that you need to be calling your vet. So every time I take my dogs out, especially as new puppies and you guys are getting used to them, those are things to watch for. If you find that your puppy is consistently seeming a bit constipated and they're having a hard time pooping, make sure that they're drinking enough water. I think that is one of the easiest solutions that you could possibly have is give them their water before you feed them because as a puppy, they're still learning um, to make sure that they're drinking enough water so that they don't get constipated. Otherwise, if you give them their food and water at the same time or their food first, they might just completely fill that little belly with food and not drink enough water. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, if I missed anything or if you guys have any amazing tips that I haven't heard of or didn't mention, please be sure to drop them in the comments below because I want this video to be helpful for any and all puppy families, even if they aren't adopting one of my mini schnauzer puppies. So please, if you've got great ideas, make sure you, uh, you drop them in the comments. And I always forget this part. If you like my videos, if you like cute puppies, please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and then you'll see all of the videos first. I am going to be trying to do more um, informational videos, how-to videos, things like that so that it'll help you out. I know a lot of my videos to this point have just been like the cute puppy videos of them playing or eating or you know bath time, things like that, which I hope everybody loves. But I do want to... Um, hit on some topics that puppy families find helpful as well. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you soon. Okay, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Smooch.